was gonna um, hopefully show us. I know that we're we're at two hours right now, but <laughs> and thank you for your personal account so we could go longer. But does anybody have a request of the other, from the other things? I I I have one just because the name's so funny. Can you tell us about Yoink? All right. So if I just start to drag files, it'll appear. When I drag to the left edge, it appears. And that'll just hold that for me. One one use case is like if you ever ever tried to drag files and go into a different folder. Like, okay, so if I want to go into iCloud Drive and then I want to put this in a different folder in here, like maybe this folder, and then it's going to open another folder and I'm still holding the mouse button. I'm trying to find where I want to drop this thing. It's kind of a pain, like, mm to drag files into, into another folder. Um, especially if you have to go into like subfolders and subfolders and things like that. So if you just drag it, drag your files here onto the, the Yoink sidebar, then in your finder window, you can just, you can click and go to that folder that you wanted to go to, right? I forget where I was, downloads, I think. Oh, well, let's go in here. All right, and if I just go into like, I don't know, three levels down, I can just drag this out of here and drop it in there. So it, it's a placeholder, right? It just you, holds things you, for you. Do you have to take all 10 of them or can you take a few of them? I think I can click on it. Double click, nope, oops, nope, that opened preview. Um, Okay. Split up stack. Yeah, split up stack. That's going to split into 10 items. Okay. What's the one so, below it? Yeah. And then now I can do like, oh, did I still have all of them selected? Then I could get one of them out. Oh, okay. But can you add I, to that selection? Let's see. You like control now click and choose. Command, command, um, click, yeah. There you go. What are these options here? So once I split up the stack, I don't think I can get it back together again. What's that third option? Lock. Lock. It's a lock. lock. Oh, okay. The other good use I found for this is, so um, this stack here is two files. And I'm constantly emailing these two files. So um, I, you can you can set up Yoink in one of two ways. You can set it up where, if you drag the file out, it clears it, and it no longer uh. is, remains here, right? Um, or you can have it so that when you drag it out, it stays there, and that to me is more useful. And if I want to clear it out, I'll just click the X. But so the the other thing I found useful is like if I'm in email and I, I've got to send these two files out constantly, I hate going back into Finder and I have to scroll through this list because it's not just one file that I want to attach, it's two. And the two files are always like kind of in the same area. Does that make sense? And yes. so now, now I'm going to drag this into a mail message and attach those two files. Whereas if I keep it here, uh, it's just always going to be available to me, right? So can um, you can you click on those two and drag it down to the mail um, the mail app icon and launch mail with those in it? Um, you know, because I don't use mail, I'm not. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm not sure. I can try it with Outlook, which is. We're a Microsoft school, so 
so that's interesting. So I did that. I dragged it in, but I only got one. I only got one. Isn't that Hmm. weird? I only got one attachment. But this is what I would generally do is like start a new mail message and then drag these files in and then then send this. Right. Hmm. So yeah, they both came in that way. But Hmm. dragging it onto the uh, app icon, I only got one. Hmm. That was interesting. I I didn't realize that would happen. So you're physically moving the file then. So it moves out of the previous location into the shelf and then into wherever you're dragging it. Does it take it out or does it yes. it's just, a copy. just copy it there? So um, that's also a preference. So you can set it up to an alias. Uh, let's see. This is the one. Remove items when dragged out. So if I drag it out, I, I don't like that. So I have it unchecked. Um, well, I guess it's not a preference. It's a preference in one of the other other apps that does this. Hmm. But it's, it does- just, it's just copying it over, right? I mean, it's not removing it from your files. It's like an alias? Yeah, it's probably Let's making try. an alias there. No, they're still there. They're still there. I don't know what happened to the other the other um, file though. The other file I dragged in here. The three, yeah. Yeah, and then I dragged it out. Okay, that actually moved it. So I'm not sure why the single file. Oh, did that move it too? No, it's no longer there. So it's actually it's actually moving the files. So it's on your desktop now. Yeah. Up here. Yeah. So you'd have to drag it back into. I'd have to drag it back in here if I want to bring them back. How you remember where it was? <laughs> <laughs> you search for it with Alfred. <laughs> what is this little broom sweepy thing? That will clear all the all the files in here. Oh. Oh. And where would they go? Where they started. Okay. Unless you drag it to desktop before. Unless you drag it to another location, yeah. It, what I think how this is intended to be used is just temporary, right? Drag it in here, find a different folder you want to move it to, and then drag it out, right? I think that's how it, it was um intended to be used mm. i like to the, leave them here because it just it makes attaching files really easy mm-hmm. yeah I, it, I go for that. you can use this in photos like if you're looking from a for four photos from five different albums it's a good way to pull them over yeah. and then email it later right uh like in your photos app yeah, I've, I've not tried that. Because that's the thing is like you want to send four photos, but each one when you want to do it, you have to put it into an album and then, you know, right. Send right. it as a so group. Drag it in here and eventually it goes in there. <laughs> it takes okay. a little while and then we could drag it out into something else. But you could put if you let's say took four different photos not and then put it in is it a grouping or then you have to yeah let's try it and four photos four yeah. photos it should be a stack it should become a stack okay but then if you have yeah, one photo go. from another album you know how you have to go search for another one in another place uh-huh and then you pull a single over yeah, can you add it to the stack? Yeah, can you add it to the stack? That's good. Thanks, Joan. <laughs> it it doesn't look like it. It looks like it's just going to create another stack. And I I'm trying like keyboard like using command or option um, to see if this would change, but it doesn't seem to change. Mm, doesn't open up so. Yeah. But at the very least, at the very least, you could have them all here. Yeah, I like that. 
And you could grab both of them at the same time to move them, yeah? Since you can select and, more. Right, you can click and select multiple ones to drag ah, them out. That's good. Then it goes all together. Oh, that's good. You know, I what? like that. I like this, that. It looks like it's two ninety nine, but it might be worth the price of admission just to once a month clean up that messy desktop of yours. <laughs> for seven ninety nine, not two ninety nine. Seven ninety nine? Well, oh, maybe on the Mac. Maybe iOS is two ninety nine. No. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. There's okay. a iOS yeah. version too. Mm -hmm. okay. Not not as useful on iOS. Yeah, I was thinking, where are your files anyway? That always confuses me. Yes, me too. Me too. 